10 Stoic Rules to Become Emotionally Insensitive, Control Your Emotions. Stoicism. To be calm is the highest achievement of the self, said Zen master Tyson Dashimaru, and this wisdom aligns perfectly with Stoic philosophy. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life. In this video, we'll explore 10 powerful Stoic rules to help you become emotionally resilient and gain better control over your emotions. By applying these principles, you'll discover how to navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. Whether it's eliminating toxic people, establishing personal boundaries, or embracing adversity, these timeless teachings offer valuable tools for personal growth and happiness. How these rules can transform your daily life. Don't forget to comment below with your thoughts and experiences. Let's embark on this journey together and unlock the power of Stoicism for a more fulfilling and balanced life. One, prioritizing yourself and being direct. At the core of Stoicism lies a powerful call for authenticity and self-care. Putting yourself first is not an act of selfishness. It's a fundamental step toward achieving balance and strength. We are well. We are much more capable of reaching out to others. Think of yourself as a glass of water. If the glass is empty, how can you offer water to someone else? First, you need to fill your own glass. Taking care of yourself means ensuring that you are mentally, emotionally, and physically prepared to face the challenges of daily life. This is not about always putting yourself ahead of others, but ensuring you are not always putting yourself last. Authenticity in your interactions is another pillar of this approach. Being truthful and genuine can be daunting because of the fear that others may not like what they hear. However, honesty creates deeper and more meaningful connections. You are true to yourself and others. Build relationships based on trust and mutual respect, which is the foundation for any healthy relationship. Implementing this practice starts with small, daily choices. Say no when something doesn't align with your values or when you lack the energy. Allow yourself moments of rest without feeling guilty. Interacting with others. Choose honesty, even if it leads to difficult conversations. These practices not only improve your well-being, but also encourage those around you to do the same, creating a domino effect of positivity where everyone benefits. Remembering your importance and focusing on your health and well-being is wisdom, not selfishness. It lays the foundation for a rich and meaningful life for yourself and those around you. This is one of the most valuable lessons Stoicism offers. Marcus Aurelius, another great Stoic, wisely noted, The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Ensuring your thoughts and actions are aligned with your true self will naturally enhance your emotional resilience and stability. To live this philosophy, start by making time for activities that replenish your energy. This might be exercise, meditation, or hobbies that bring you joy. Establish boundaries that protect your time and energy, making sure you are not overcommitting to the detriment of your own well-being. Be direct and assertive in expressing your needs and desires, ensuring that your voice is heard and respected. In modern life, this approach is crucial. The constant pressures and rapid pace can easily deplete our resources if we're not careful. By prioritizing self-care and authenticity, you create a sustainable way to manage your responsibilities while maintaining your well-being. This not only helps you stay emotionally balanced, but also sets a powerful example for others, demonstrating the strength that comes from true self-mastery. Embracing Stoicism's lessons in prioritizing yourself and being direct can lead to profound personal growth and resilience. It's about creating a life where your well-being is the foundation upon which all other aspects rest. As you practice these principles, you'll find that are better equipped to handle life's challenges with grace and strength. If this resonates with you, consider diving deeper into these ancient strategies with resources like Stoicism in the 21st Century, 
ancient strategies for modern challenges, and start unlocking your path to prosperity, abundance, and improved relationships. 2. Self-Sufficiency and Independence The Stoic philosophers taught us about self-sufficiency, a concept that can transform your life by helping you find joy and peace within yourself without constantly seeking approval or assistance from others. It's not about isolating yourself from the world or pretending you don't need anyone. Instead, it's about building inner strength and contentment. Strive to be fair, courageous, and balanced, as these qualities are treasures that no one can take away from you. You live with this mindset. External opinions and tough situations won't affect you as much. The journey to self-sufficiency is not an overnight transformation, but a path we build day by day. It's about making small improvements, facing challenges head-on, and learning from mistakes without letting them define who we are. By doing so, you'll find that you need less from the outside to be happy. This doesn't mean you stop enjoying the company of others or the good things in life. On the contrary, you'll appreciate them even more, but in a healthier way, without dependency. Being self-sufficient is a journey of discovery and freedom. It means enjoying life with what you have now, without always wanting more, or waiting for external changes to make you happy. The story of John, a 40-year-old man who always sought validation from his peers and was never content with what he had. After learning about Stoic principles, John started focusing on his inner growth. He learned to find satisfaction in his daily activities and personal achievements. Slowly, he noticed that external validation mattered less and he felt more content and resilient in the face of challenges. This transformation didn't happen overnight. It took continuous effort and reflection, but the results were profound. Are there areas where you depend too much on others for happiness? What small steps can you take to start building your own self-sufficiency? True happiness comes from within, from embracing the simple things in everyday life and being true to yourself. You focus on your internal strengths and values, become less vulnerable to external pressures and more resilient in the face of adversity. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. In modern life, where we're constantly bombarded with social media and external expectations, practicing self-sufficiency can provide a profound sense of peace and stability. It helps you to focus on what truly matters and to build a life that is grounded in your own values and strengths. So take a moment to reflect on your journey. The moments of discovery and joy and remember the strength you seek is already within you. The key is to nurture it and let it guide you through life's challenges. By doing so, you'll find a deeper sense of fulfillment and happiness that no external source can provide. This is the essence of stoic self-sufficiency, finding strength, peace, and happiness within yourself. 3. Living in the present with fullness Living in the present with fullness is a transformative journey that brings us to the core of what truly matters in life. The ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy guides us on this path, teaching us to anchor our experiences in the current moment. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca wisely said, True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future. Life unfolds in the now, where every breath marks a new beginning, and every moment offers an opportunity to be fully lived. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in past memories or to be anxious about the future, which distances us from the richness of the present moment. By practicing presence, we learn to free ourselves from these distractions focusing our attention and energy on actions and thoughts within our reach. This ability to be fully present enriches our life experiences, making us more effective and focused. It allows us to embrace joy and face challenges with a renewed sense of clarity and calmness. To cultivate the ability to live in the present, we must begin with awareness. This involves noticing when our thoughts drift away from the present moment and gently guiding them back without judgment. Whether we focus on our breath, 
physical sensations, or the task at hand. This practice helps us stay grounded. Meditation, mindfulness, and activities requiring complete engagement are excellent ways to strengthen this skill. Our ability to stay present grows. So does our appreciation for life. We begin to notice the beauty in small things, our connections with others become richer, and even challenges seem less daunting because we are equipped with the clarity and calmness that only presence can provide. Living in the present with fullness is ultimately an act of self-love and respect for life. By choosing to fully inhabit each moment, we not only improve our own existence, but also enrich the lives of those around us. Every moment becomes a celebration and a gesture of gratitude for the miracle of being alive. The story of Emma, a busy professional who often found herself overwhelmed by the demands of work and life. She realized that her constant worry about future projects and lingering regrets about past mistakes were robbing her of the joy of the present. Inspired by Stoic teachings, Emma began practicing mindfulness. She started her mornings with meditation, focused on her breath during stressful meetings, and took time each evening to reflect on her day with gratitude. Gradually, she noticed a profound change. Emma felt more connected to her work, her relationships improved, and she faced challenges with a newfound resilience. How often do you find yourself distracted by past regrets or future worries? What steps can you take today to start living more fully in the present? Embracing the present moment isn't just about mindfulness. It's about transforming how we engage with life. By being present, we can handle our responsibilities more effectively and enjoy our experiences more deeply. This approach helps us build stronger relationships and find greater satisfaction in our daily activities. Imagine you're at a family gathering. Instead of being preoccupied with work or other concerns, you're fully engaged in conversations, savoring the laughter and the connections being made. This presence not only enriches your experience, but also strengthens your bonds with loved ones. The same principle applies at work. By focusing on the task at hand, you become more productive and find greater meaning in your work. Living in the present with fullness also means accepting life's impermanence. Things change and nothing lasts forever. By appreciating each moment as it comes, we can navigate life's ups and downs with grace. This acceptance helps us remain grounded and resilient, no matter what challenges arise. In modern life, where distractions are everywhere, practicing presence can be a game changer. It helps us prioritize what's truly important and lets go of what doesn't serve us. This mindful approach to living brings a sense of peace and fulfillment that can't be found in the constant chase for more. Ultimately, Living in the present with fullness is about honoring the life we have now. It's about finding joy in simplicity, strength in presence, and depth in everyday experiences. By doing so, we discover the true fullness that comes from being truly present in the vibrant tapestry of life. Let us all strive to live in the present with our whole hearts, remembering that each moment is precious and irreplaceable. This journey with openness and gratitude and you will find that the present moment holds everything you need to live a rich, meaningful life. As the Stoic Epictetus wisely noted, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. By living in the present, we can truly appreciate the wealth that life offers us right here, right now. Thank you for watching our video. You can leave your thoughts in the comments below to help us understand you better. Your feedback will help us learn and create more engaging and useful videos for everyone to enjoy. If you're unsure what to say, simply comment, I agree, so we know you're following along with our video. Don't go anywhere. Stay right here. There's much more interesting content coming your way, so stay tuned. 4. Expressing Feelings and Opinions with Caution In our era of instant connections where every thought can be shared with the world in seconds, the speed of communication often outweighs its depth and quality. 
Moderating how we express our feelings and opinions is crucial to avoid misunderstandings, unnecessary conflicts, and to preserve valuable relationships. By choosing our words carefully, we become beacons of empathy and understanding in our communities. Practicing inner calmness and seeking to understand before being understood is a true act of courage and generosity. As Marcus Aurelius said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By fostering thoughtful communication, we shape our souls and the world around us positively. Consider a common situation where you strongly disagree with a friend's opinion. The Stoic approach does not prevent us from expressing our disagreement, but invites us to do so with respect, seeking points of connection and mutual understanding. Instead of starting an ego battle, we turn the conversation into a bridge for growth and shared learning. This approach transforms potential conflict into an opportunity for deeper connection and mutual respect. Adopting this philosophy of life, we discover that true communication goes beyond the mere exchange of words. It is rooted in authenticity, vulnerability, and the courage to show ourselves as we truly are, with our doubts, hopes, and dreams. This level of communication helps us find our own voice while inviting others to find theirs. We must choose our words with the same care that a gardener dedicates to their plants, ensuring that our communication fosters growth and positivity. By being patient, compassionate, and deliberate, we make our communication a source of light rather than shadows. Relate this to modern life, a heated argument on social media. How often do these debates lead to meaningful understanding? Rarely. Instead, they often escalate into exchanges of hostility and misunderstanding. Approaching such a discussion with stoic principles, listening more, understanding the other perspective, and responding thoughtfully. The outcome would be vastly different, more constructive, and less confrontational. This thoughtful approach can significantly improve your relationships, both online and offline. Why is it important to express feelings and opinions with caution? It helps build trust, deepen relationships, and create a harmonious environment. We communicate with respect and understanding. We foster an atmosphere where ideas can be exchanged freely and constructively. This is particularly vital in personal and professional settings, where the quality of our interactions can significantly impact our success and happiness. To put this into practice, start by pausing before you speak. Reflect on your words and their potential impact. Listen actively and seek to understand before responding. Practice empathy by putting yourself in the other person's shoes. These small changes can lead to significant improvements in how you communicate and relate to others. By committing to this approach, you not only enhance your personal growth, but also contribute to a more empathetic and understanding world. You continue on this path. We'll discover the profound impact of thoughtful communication on your life and the lives of those around you. The way we communicate shapes our reality and the reality of those we interact with. As you practice expressing your feelings and opinions with caution, you will find that you can navigate life's challenges with greater ease and build stronger, more meaningful relationships. If you find value in this journey, don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences. Your feedback and engagement help us all grow together. By cultivating gratitude, we align ourselves with the good, the prosperous, and the abundant aspects of life. Leave a comment, share your insights, and like this content to spread the wisdom. Let's continue to grow and learn, enhancing our lives and the lives of those around us through the art of thoughtful communication. 5. Selective Compassion Compassion is like a ray of light that warms and illuminates, showing we care for each other, but even this light needs direction, so it isn't lost in the vast night sky. This is where the idea of selective compassion comes in. Think of it like using a flashlight instead of turning on all the lights in the house. You focus where it's really needed and where you can make a difference. The world is full of problems and pain, more than any one of us can solve alone. 
being in a small boat in a rough ocean, trying to rescue everyone adrift. If we attempt to save everyone simultaneously, we risk sinking under the weight. Selective compassion teaches us to recognize where we can lend a hand without putting ourselves at risk, keeping our boat stable while helping others. It's not about turning our backs on the world's difficulties, but rather choosing our battles wisely. If a friend needs us, we can be there for them because it's a situation where our presence makes a real difference. But when faced with larger problems beyond our reach, we do what we can perhaps helping from afar without getting lost in the attempt to embrace the whole world. Balancing compassion also means taking care of ourselves. We can't give what we don't have. If we exhaust all our energy trying to fix everything and everyone, we'll end up with nothing left to offer. It's like trying to light the way for everyone else but ending up in the dark ourselves. If you encounter a situation where someone needs help and you can do something, go ahead. Your heart and actions can make all the difference. But if it's something beyond your control, do what you can without blaming yourself for not doing more. Sometimes the greatest help we can offer is to take care of ourselves so that when someone truly needs us, we are ready and able to lend a hand. Selective compassion is about being smart with our care and affection, choosing where we can truly be a positive force. By taking good care of the light we have, we ensure it continues to shine brightly for those in need. This means ensuring we remain strong and healthy enough to make a long-term difference. As Marcus Aurelius said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By focusing our compassion wisely, we not only help others more effectively, but also cultivate a healthier, more resilient inner self. Relate this to modern life. Jane a nurse who spent every waking moment helping others, eventually burning out and feeling overwhelmed. After learning about selective compassion, Jane began setting boundaries and focusing her energy where she could make the most significant impact without draining herself. She found she could provide better care and be a more effective support system for her patients and family. This shift not only improved her well-being, but also made her contributions more meaningful and sustainable. How often do you find yourself overwhelmed by the needs of others? What steps can you take to practice selective compassion in your own life? It's crucial to recognize that we can't solve every problem, but we can make a significant difference by focusing our efforts where they matter most. This approach not only enhances our impact, but also preserves our well-being enabling us to continue helping others effectively. By committing to selective compassion, we create a balance that allows us to offer genuine support without depleting ourselves. This wisdom ensures that our compassion remains a guiding light for others, not a source of our own burnout. Next time you face a situation where help is needed, consider where your efforts will be most effective and sustainable. By doing so, you become a beacon of strength and hope, capable of making a lasting difference in the lives of those you touch. Selective compassion is about being strategic with your empathy and support. It's about making a meaningful impact while maintaining your own well-being. By focusing your compassionate efforts where they can truly make a difference, you ensure that your help is both effective and sustainable. As we navigate our complex world, Let's remember to take care of ourselves so that we can continue to be there for others in the best way possible. 6. Eliminating Toxic People from Your Life It seems like we're always in the middle of a lot of noise and pressure, where every little thing we do is closely analyzed. But there's a secret that can change everything, who we choose to be close to us. There are people who are like a calm river, helping us move forward smoothly, encouraging us to be better. But there are also those who are like a storm, bringing problems and confusion, and we end up getting lost along the way. The Stoics, some wise men from ancient times who mastered the art of living well, often emphasized this. They taught that we need to have self-control and find our peace, regardless of the chaos around us. 
They make us ponder. Are the ships we have helping us grow or pulling us down? Removing someone who only brings negativity into your life isn't a sign of weakness. It's a testament to your strength. It's about choosing to have around us those who truly add value. Imagine it like tend in a garden. Sometimes you need to pull out weeds so the beautiful flowers can flourish. Of course, this isn't easy. We need to be honest with ourselves and reflect on what's truly important. Eliminating toxic friendships is not just about self-care. It's about discovering your own strength and learning to navigate life in a calmer, more meaningful way. The people we choose to be close to are fundamental to our lives, so it's essential to choose wisely. This is a time to look around, think carefully, and make necessary changes because, ultimately, the quality of our lives is defined by the company we keep. Are you ready to make this choice? A modern example to make this more relatable. Mark, a successful entrepreneur who always felt drained by his business partner, Tom. Tom constantly criticized Mark's decisions, bringing negativity into every conversation. Mark felt stuck and anxious, but remembered the stoic lesson on eliminating toxic influences. He decided to part ways with Tom, which wasn't easy, but was necessary. After this change, Mark felt a tremendous weight lifted off his shoulders. His new business partners were supportive and constructive, helping him thrive and find joy in his work again. This story illustrates how crucial it is to surround yourself with people who support and uplift you. Once you've identified the toxic relationships, it's important to plan how to distance yourself from these influences. This doesn't necessarily mean dramatic confrontations. Sometimes, it's about setting boundaries and gradually reducing contact. Another aspect to consider is the impact of toxic people on your mental and emotional health. According to Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. If certain relationships consistently fill your mind with negativity, it's essential to address this for your well-being. Surrounding yourself with positive influences not only improves your mood, but also boosts your confidence and overall happiness. You go through this process, it's also helpful to think about how you can be a positive influence in others' lives. Relationships are reciprocal, and by being supportive and uplifting, you attract the same energy from others. This mutual support creates a harmonious environment where everyone can thrive. In today's digital age, it's not just physical relationships that matter, but also the virtual ones. The people you interact with online can significantly impact your mindset and emotions. If your social media feeds are filled with negativity, criticism, or toxic debates, consider curating your digital space. Follow inspiring individuals, join positive communities, and avoid engaging with online negativity. This digital detox can make a substantial difference in your mental health. Are you ready to take the steps needed to eliminate toxic people from your life? This isn't just about avoiding negativity, but about actively choosing a path of peace and positivity. By doing so, you create a space where you can grow, succeed, and find genuine happiness. The Stoics believed that this choice is a crucial part of a fulfilling life, and modern psychology agrees. Surrounding yourself with supportive, positive people is one of the best things you can do for your mental and emotional health. Eliminating toxic people from your life is a vital step towards controlling your emotions and leading a fulfilling life. It's about making conscious choices about who you allow into your personal space and ensuring that these individuals contribute positively to your journey. Reflect on your relationships, set boundaries where needed, and embrace the strength that comes from surrounding yourself with positivity. By doing this, you'll not only improve your own life but also set an example for others creating a ripple effect of positivity and support. Remember, the quality of your life is indeed defined by the company you keep. So, choose wisely and create an environment where you and those around you can flourish. Thank you all for watching today's video. We are eager to hear what you've learned or how you relate to the topics discussed. Can you share any personal experiences or insights you've gained from our content? If you're unsure what to comment, perhaps start by mentioning one thing you found particularly interesting or useful. 
Your contributions not only help us improve, but also enrich the learning experience of the community. Let's start the conversation in the comments below. 7. Embracing Adversity and Finding Strength in Challenges Facing adversity and harnessing the strength from challenges is not just about survival. It's a transformative process that redefines our perspective on life. We all know that life isn't always easy. It presents a series of storms and mountains that we must navigate. Yet it is through confronting these challenges that we uncover invaluable lessons and growth opportunities. When adversity strikes, it acts as a crucible, testing our inner strength and adaptability. You're presented with two options, retreat and feel defeated, or confront the challenge directly, turning it into a catalyst for personal growth. Stoic philosophy, a treasure trove of ancient wisdom, compels us to choose the latter. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This mindset encourages us to view each difficulty as a question posed by life, asking us, What can you learn from this? By adopting this approach, we don't just face our problems, we embrace them, transforming these obstacles into opportunities for learning and demonstrating resilience. Acknowledging that challenges are a natural part of our journey is the first step towards overcoming them. This doesn't mean we have to like these situations or wish for them, but rather recognize them as integral to our personal narrative. From there, we actively seek out the lessons each challenge offers whether they relate to personal insights or broader life truths. Moreover, confronting adversity head-on allows us to refine our emotional control. Instead of allowing fear or frustration to take the helm, we learn to manage these feelings, using them as tools rather than obstacles. This mastery over our emotions is crucial, not only for navigating current difficulties, but also for preparing us for future challenges. Each time we overcome an obstacle, we emerge stronger, crafting a more resilient version of ourselves, ready to face whatever else life might throw our way. This ongoing process adds layers to our personal resilience, much like a mosaic becoming more intricate and robust with each piece added. Living this way, embracing adversity and finding strength in challenges, transforms fear into courage, uncertainty into opportunity and suffering into empowerment. It encourages us to look inward, recognize our own capacity for resilience, and proceed with confidence knowing that we are equipped to tackle any of life's challenges. The story of John, a middle-aged man who lost his job unexpectedly. While initially devastated, he used this challenge as a springboard to reassess his career aspirations and personal goals. He embraced the adversity learned new skills, and eventually found a job that was more fulfilling than the one he had lost. John's story exemplifies how embracing challenges can lead to personal and professional growth, ultimately making us stronger and more resilient. Embrace the opportunity to strengthen your resilience and expand your understanding of your own capabilities. This practice not only prepares you for future adversities, but also contributes to a richer, more rewarding life experience. The art of facing adversity and drawing strength from challenges is fundamental to Stoic philosophy and a fulfilling life. By viewing each challenge as an opportunity to grow and each obstacle as a stepping stone to greater resilience, we can live more courageously and confidently. In the mosaic of our lives, each piece of adversity adds depth, strength, and beauty to the overall picture. Are you ready to transform your challenges into your greatest strengths? 8. Not loving too much. We talk about love, it's a feeling everyone wants to experience. Love is undeniably beautiful, but the Stoics, a group of ancient philosophers, had a unique take on how to love that can make all the difference. They believed that we can love deeply, but in a way that allows everyone to remain free without suffocating or restricting anyone. This idea is much like letting a bird fly. If we hold it too tightly, 
it can't be itself or sore. However, if we care for it with tenderness and let it be free, it's happy and so are we. True love, according to the Stoics, is about giving wings to those we care about, allowing them to be who they truly are without constraints. Loving with freedom doesn't mean loving less. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's about loving smarter, choosing to be together because we want to, not because we need to. This means recognizing that each of us is already complete on our own, and we choose to share that completeness with someone else without becoming dependent. This kind of love understands that things change and that not everything lasts forever. But instead of mourning these changes, we cherish every moment, knowing that each moment together is a gift. Even if things change one day, the love that was shared leaves a lasting positive impact, a light that never goes out. Picture this, loving with an open heart, but not losing your sense of self. The Stoics encouraged us to learn this, to love deeply but in a way that keeps us grounded and at peace within ourselves. How about we try to embrace this way of loving? Choosing to be with someone not to fill a void but to enhance each other's lives, making them even more beautiful. This is the invitation for today, to love in a way that liberates, feels good, and makes us feel more alive and happy. A modern example like a couple, Sarah and Tom. Sarah is an artist, and Tom is a writer. They both cherish their individual passions and respect each other's space. They come together to share their joys and support each other's dreams, but they never lose sight of their own identities. This freedom allows their love to flourish without the weight of dependency. They thrive not because they need each other to be whole, but because they choose to enhance each other's lives. By embracing this stoic principle, we can create healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Loving with freedom means supporting your partner's growth and individuality knowing that a strong bond doesn't require losing yourself in the process. At the end of the day, the lesson here is profound. Love deeply but wisely. That true love enhances our lives without taking away our independence. By adopting this mindset, we can experience a richer, more joyful connection with others. Epictetus said, Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. So let's love freely and fully, creating relationships that are nurturing and liberating. In conclusion, loving in this stoic way is about balance. It's about giving and caring deeply while also maintaining our own sense of self and allowing others to do the same. This approach not only enriches our relationships, but also brings a sense of peace and fulfillment. So let's try to love in a way that liberates and enhances our lives, making each day brighter and more meaningful. Are you ready to embrace this liberating way of loving? 9. Establishing Personal Boundaries Setting personal boundaries is not just a survival strategy, but a fundamental pillar for a fulfilling and authentic life. But what does it mean to set personal boundaries? And how does it help us navigate the complexities of modern life? Think of boundaries as the borders on a map, outlining the territory that is exclusively yours, your time, your energy, your emotions. These boundaries are the invisible lines that help us define how far we're willing to go, what we're willing to accept, and where we need to say no. They are, at their essence, a declaration of self respect and a recognition of our own worth. Without clear boundaries, we become vulnerable to burnout, a common condition in a society that often glorifies the idea of being constantly busy. When we can't distinguish between others' demands and our own needs, we lose control over our lives and a crucial part of our identity. Establishing boundaries is, therefore, an act of balance, a delicate dance between giving and receiving. It's understanding that to truly care for others, we need to be at our best, and that's only possible when we take care of ourselves. It's the art of saying no when necessary, not out of selfishness, but because we recognize that by preserving our well-being, we're actually cultivating a more fertile ground for all our relationships. It starts with self-awareness, understanding what you truly value, what drains your energy, and what nourishes it. 
This process involves actively listening to your own needs and learning to communicate them clearly and assertively. The feeling of freedom when setting these boundaries. Having the power to choose how, with whom, and in what you invest your time and energy. The peace of mind that comes with the certainty of living a life aligned with your deepest values. The story of Jane, a successful professional who always felt overwhelmed by her work and personal life. She realized that her inability to set boundaries was causing her stress and dissatisfaction. By taking the time to reflect on her values and priorities, Jane began to say no to extra work that didn't align with her goals and to social engagements that drained her energy. This wasn't easy at first, but over time, Jane found that she had more time and energy for the things that truly mattered to her. Her relationships improved, and she felt more fulfilled and balanced. Setting boundaries isn't a barrier to keep people away, but a bridge to more authentic and meaningful relationships. The areas in your life where you feel stretched too thin or overwhelmed. It's important to communicate your boundaries clearly and assertively. This might involve having difficult conversations with friends, family, or colleagues, but it's essential for maintaining your well-being. That setting boundaries is not about being rigid or unyielding. It's about creating a framework that allows you to thrive. As you establish these boundaries, you'll find that you have more time and energy to devote to the things that truly matter to you. Setting boundaries can also improve your relationships. When you are clear about your limits, others will understand and respect your needs. This clarity can lead to more honest and supportive interactions, reducing misunderstandings and resentment. As the philosopher Epictetus said, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. By setting boundaries, you focus on what truly enriches your life rather than trying to do everything for everyone. In modern life, where we're constantly bombarded with demands and distractions, maintaining personal boundaries is more important than ever. It's easy to get caught up in the busyness and lose sight of what's truly important. By taking the time to set and maintain boundaries, you create a life that is more aligned with your values and priorities. This leads to greater satisfaction and a sense of control over your own destiny. Because in the end, the quality of your life isn't measured by the number of tasks you accomplish, but by the quality of the experiences you choose to live. Are you ready to take the reins and define the boundaries that will guide your journey? By doing so, you'll not only improve your own well-being, but also set an example for others to follow, creating a ripple effect of positive change. 10. Flexibility and Adaptability in today's fast-paced world, much is beyond our control. But how we respond is entirely within our power. Being flexible and adaptable means embracing life's unexpected challenges, much like dancing to a tune you didn't choose but finding joy in the movement, nonetheless. This mindset not only helps us remain calm during tough times, but also enables us to see difficulties as chances to develop resilience and strength. As Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic philosopher wisely stated, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Consider every problem as a surprise workout from life. Initially daunting, these challenges gradually make us more prepared and perceptive. Embracing adaptability allows us to maintain a positive outlook, even when circumstances seem dire. The next time things don't go as planned, channel your inner Stoic. Take a deep breath, assess what can be done with available resources, and proceed with determination. It's not the events themselves, but our responses that shape our experiences. While our reactions might not change the situation immediately, they certainly enhance our ability to cope and might even reveal unexpected solutions. In contemporary society, flexibility and adaptability are superpowers. By practicing these stoic principles, we can become individuals who face life's twists and turns with confidence and poise. If this exploration of Stoic wisdom resonates with you, consider subscribing to the channel and diving deeper into the journey of self-discovery. It's not about the challenges we encounter, but how we handle them that defines our path. Your life today by embracing the Stoic mindset and discovering the strength within you. 
As we wrap up this video, remember that applying these stoic principles to your daily life can lead to profound personal growth and lasting happiness. By eliminating toxic people, establishing personal boundaries, and practicing selective compassion, you create a supportive environment that nurtures your well-being. Embracing adversity, living in the present, and prioritizing self-sufficiency help you become resilient and independent, facing life's challenges with strength and grace. Flexibility and adaptability allow you to navigate life's twists and turns with ease, turning obstacles into opportunities for growth. How have these stoic rules impacted your life? Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Stoic in your life, and continue your journey of self-discovery and emotional mastery with us. Let's transform our lives together, one Stoic principle at a time.